से साधु 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 सो डियर धाम प्रैक्टिशनर्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ यू कैन डिवेलप दिस मेडिटेशन एस पोस्ट मेडिटेशन आफ्टर मेडिटेशन हाउ इन डे टू डे लाइफ you can apply this so what the benefit that you can get out of this because the the wisdom is not that you gain when you close your eyes and when you sitting the wisdom going to be with you in day to day life with the with the ordinary people so that is where you need the the wisdom to to have your life so then remember learn to see so even the food that you eat just simply don't don't try to put a name on it don't try to to put thoughts on it just see it. and the cup of tea or coffee before you drink it just look and see it so you can apply it to anything and that is you going to see something that once you start to see that that the wisdom going to arise within yourself so simply seeing part has more wisdom than your thoughts because the thought related to past not the present moment seeing happening in the very present moment in that very present moment is the joy satisfaction happiness everything exist but we mostly depend reminding the past or thinking about the future that satisfaction is even though in the moment you have kind of like a good feelings it feeding to your emotions but that satisfaction cannot be longer so then you have to repeat it again and again and again but in the moment that what you gain through recognition or the understanding you gain a different kind of satisfaction it is not different than that the reminding or something like it is more stronger a better version of that so then always remember in day to day life even the the, the the pillow you keep your head just see it before to use that sleep tonight just see or the bed or the bed sheet or the the towel that you use to when you have a shower or the 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 brush that you used to clean your teeth toothbrush just see it you going to you going to recognize something that recognition is very pure authentic organic that is what you need and it is not from books from lectures from sutras or from tripitakas or from any other holy book it's the simply within yourself within your own experience in the moment you get gain it it has more beauty it has more comfort within that so that is a that is a the the method in tranquility meditation you start to 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 engage with the thing because that this get 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 into something 
and recognizing it and being with it and we we always do it see that every day you go you sleep on the bed at not only at night maybe the daytime the couch you sit the cup you drink your tea the plate you eat but you don't you don't see the, see the cup or the plate or the bed or the pillow or the the towel or the the toothbrush you don't see it but you use it so then when it come to the moment day by day day by day day by day it bring the clarity to understand that whatever around us and there is a nature within it and that uniqueness recognizing that uniqueness and harmonizing that uniqueness is very important that is where you get out of the self centered mind so in day to day life you have to you have to build up a method because it's it's like this playing a game so you know that uh, when two two g- groups when they play in the middle uh, when, when they put the names in they say vs versus so this team a to a versus b it's totally different but at the same time you cannot play the game without other team so the versus is kind of like a go against but you you don't go against to destroy that you go against to win that doesn't mean you giving a harm or you destroy other uh, other team no you but still you you go to the win that doesn't mean you surrender to the other other part so then when it come to the the loving kindness compassion anger is the loving kindness is a kind of like a loving kindness compassion versus anger versus anger and the generosity greediness it's a it's a two two different nature but you cannot separate it so other part need to be there to win this part so the ignorance versus wisdom so this both need to be there you cannot separate it you cannot hate something why because without ignorance the the wisdom cannot be there so when you start to see you start to recognize that nature then you come to point balance so the balance is not kind of like you sitting on one leg is kind of like like that balance you come to the point to be balance inside you so that when you become balance balance within your perception with your eye ear nose tongue body mind you become balanced person without getting disturbed out of any perception so that is where you become more humble person and when you come to that point as a human being you becoming more productive person look at yourself then the, in from the beginning of life to today how many things that you have you had opportunities and you had dreams you had ideas to do good things but any that anything didn't happen why because you get disturbed out of lot of things on the way and because of that disturb it effect for your creativity and all the abilities destroy when you get disappointed unhappy sad worry like that so if you lose your balance 
it that you lose it out of your own mind but you think it is from outside and you lose the balance within your yourself and you destroy inside you you just become an ordinary person that's it so remember in day to day life as a, as an ordinary person you have many kind of capabilities there are different different versions in you so sometimes the best version you never saw in your life you didn't see it yet why because of the disturbances that whatever happened in you you gave more priority to to handle with that rather than becoming more free from it so then what happening that disturbances giving you different kind of versions to you now you are different kind of person inside but deeper there is a, the better version in you so when you practice this samatha meditation and is vipassana meditation what is happening the your best version you going to recognize that is very important the, that is the that is where that you are hidden the gift going to be because once you come to the the moment to recognize your best version and you become more comfortable within yourself that is where you going to find the balance that is where you find the inner comfort that is where you going to find the trust within yourself and you not going to depend from outside others opinion not going to be your reality why because you find the your balance inside how because now you recognize your true version so get into that and the we think this human life you can do it and before you get into the next level in the sansaric journey remember fulfill this here and then you, you will not going to come here why because you done this otherwise you will keep coming keep coming keep coming keep coming why because there is a, the inner version inside you 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 have to fulfill it you have to fulfill then you have to be here so then what will happen you are not complete then you keep coming so you but once you complete your mission there's no it, it naturally you release from it so you you promote to you get the promotion to the next level so in tranquility meditation also the same that when you able to 100% see something any more that there is no desire to hold it to it because you see it but if you don't see it half open half cover and you it, it not allow you to see the truth then you keep keep running behind the sansaric journey why because you didn't see it and when there is no the completion that the inner satisfaction then what will happen there is always fire that fire create the thoughts that thoughts is create the desire because when you repeat the thought again and again and again and again it become the desire and once the desire is there you are helpless you it is kind of like a current it's a different kind of a stream so in the the wisdom level that the sota pan also is a kind of like a stream you jump to it your method that the, your practice going to take you but another that we are still in the other side of the the stream the sansara stream so when the desire is there when you reminding when there is a gap when you don't fulfill who you are when you don't not find your real version in you 
you will always keep running keep running keep running there are two kind of ways that the conventional life and eternal ways that we try to fulfill this so conventional way that we go through the the mainly we start with the pleasure so the pleasure with our eye ear nose tongue body mind so whatever the you like to see a movie like to hear music and uh, like to eat something and uh, like uh, many many kind of smells or like to associate people and getting married so you developing a family so like that you go with the the pleasure so that is one way it it bringing you satisfaction it's nothing wrong with that you have you have to go with it but when you keep going like that way there is something else come to you there is a more higher happiness or the satisfaction come to you so now the pleasure the self sent the, the, it is based with the the self and there is a more higher satisfaction that is engagement so as example you watching sports and watching a sports giving you kind of like a pleasure but after you watch it mostly these young children after they watch the game they not going to be satisfied what they does they go out and they start to play why because the playing engagement giving the more pleasure than the watching so the watching is the the sensual play, based pleasure but engagement the physical activities and going and doing it it's giving another the more higher pleasure so this is more more common in in day to day life for us even watching a movie and sometimes the old old time when people watch bruce lee's movies and when they come out of the 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 theater they start to act like boosley so that is where there's the people got the wrong idea about martial art the martial art is a kind of like a harming or fighting why because of people watch this boosley's movies and then they thought oh you fight and then you do this that that so like that an engagement it it happen all the time if any movies any kind of movies if you start to any sports if you show to people few months what will happen the whole society start to go with that forget about all other problems why because the pleasure grow like that way but in your life in day to day life this both not going to be forever it's very limited for the moment sensual based pleasure and engagement and then always you need the repetition and but there is a, another pleasure that is meaningful pleasure so the meaningful pleasure means you start to share your life with others and do some good for others not thinking about you so that is giving you more pleasure than the that other two so one is sensual based based pleasure and other one is engagement by yourself but another one is a meaningful pleasure it is a more regarding other thing this is as a, as parents and sometimes you work so hard but end of the day you giving all the facilities to your children your husband wife and uh, but still you finding a deeper happiness maybe you don't have anything maybe you don't have anything to eat what you like maybe maybe you don't have a place to sleep comfortably for yourself maybe you give up your whole personal life but still you feel 
contentment. So that also there. So these three kind of stages in satisfaction always conventional. But through meditation, we're not going to address or, or trying to make it more meaningful to conventional life. There is a deeper satisfaction and happiness and the pleasure in you. This all three things important. It is conventional. But when it comes to spiritual, this all the happiness, satisfaction, this meaningful engagement, that's everything. Still, is the nature of your mind. That is what called dharma. Dharma is kind of like this. Listen this very carefully and try to catch the idea. If you catch this, you get this. So dharma, mostly we think it is an idea from somebody. Oh, Buddha taught this and we learn this and that is dharma. So that is, that is a kind of dharma. But the real dharma is the, 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 all the teachings in you, it's already inbuilt. There is no way into your heart there is that you can that, uh, that, that take something or put something new. You already in Dharma. Only thing that teachings can activate it. So Dharma is that whatever you hold is called Dharma. That is the very basic meaning of the Dharma. What you hold as your life is dharma. So what when we say we learning dharma means what? Hmm? We try to brush up that what we hold. We try to uplift what we have within ourselves. Otherwise don't think even this samatha meditation practice the vipassana doesn't mean there is something we are going to put into you. No. That what we does we try to open that our heart and our mind and our whole entire body and our awareness and drop all the unnecessary things. So then the dharma means what you hold. So when it comes to that, the happiness, satisfaction, comfort, the mostly, see that in the very first level, the pleasure, that it always need the, the outside. Because it need the, the environment, it need the object, you, it need your body and the object and the, the environment. So as example, you want to eat uh, ice cream. So, 30 years old person and one year old boy or girl, child, it eat it, it in a different way. So that's mean according to the body. When it comes to the, the pleasure, you need the body and the body should be in a right level to absorb it. Otherwise, it's not going to recognize. It, it cannot handle. That's why like uh, alcohol, cigarettes, it not allow for children because they cannot handle it. So like that, when we go with the pleasure, remember, the, our body need to be prepared for that. Otherwise, we cannot get it. Another thing is the environment. So the, the object, the object also should be there outside. So you, you like to eat ice cream, then the ice cream outside object. And you have no power over it. So then what you do? You have to pay for it. Or maybe you have to ask for it. Or maybe you have to give something for it. So like that. 
and other thing is the environment so the environment is kind of like when you go to the market and maybe from the street you can buy ice cream maybe 1 dollar or 2 dollar so how about you go to a five star hotel or somewhere another place in a higher mountain place you cannot get it for that price even just a soda you know 1 dollar you buy it from the market but how about you go to a uh, go for a vacation in a hotel or in a top of a mountain there's a little store and you go there and you ask how much this soda oh 5 dollars you cannot tell oh it in the market it is 1 dollar so the environment is necessary so we depending from this all the three categories so that is where this all the pleasure engagement and meaningful happiness going to be this all necessary conditions should be there and it always changing but when it come to the dharma you no need this anything dharma is always can happen within inside you without any kind of this outside things even for the age limit limit or the bodily condition it doesn't work for that if you look at the the buddha's time and the, how the the even the children or very sick people and even the very young people very old people and from children to very old people from kings to beggars healthy people to very sick people everyone reach in the same way understood the dharma because that it doesn't need the outside condition it need only the inner condition so we trying to develop that part though the dharma is within you that you have to be very clear to open it the all this world the very nature is that we we carry within our mind that we experience within our outside there is a beautiful example for that there is a dog once a while this dog come and bite a very old rough bone and while it chewing and biting it what happening it damage its own mouth and the blood come so this dog things this blood this bone is so tasty and it keep biting biting chewing keep biting 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 and enjoy it but that dog doesn't know the it enjoying its own blood so dharma the same karma the same dharma and karma both not from nothing to do with outside it all generate inside you if you suffer it because of you and if you get out of the suffering that also because of you so that both depend on your understanding nothing can happen from outside so that is the very fundamental teachings when it come to the buddha's teaching so that's why it called the mind is the poor and a mind is the cheap mind is the creator but in day to day life are we aware, aware about it are we focus to that or are we more go with the outside things so then remember yourself when it come to happiness that recognizing yourself being within because that happiness already there within you that at the in the first level that what i explain through pleasure engagement meaningful happiness that all the, the three ways what you try to do you try to somehow get it out but through meditation without this anything there is a way you can go and touch that happiness 
that inner happiness once you touch that inner happiness then you get out of the disturbances once you get out of the disturbances that is where you going to have a, the very clear mind that is where you going to recognize your best version and now that best when you have the best version no one can disturb you you not going to get disturbed it is naturally happening look at all the successful people even whatever the conventional they 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 became successful even spiritually whoever became successful the one of the 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 very good quality that they had whatever happened it didn't affect for their inner creativity so then remember yourself you also have the same thing but mostly you depending from outside so little by little little by little when you start to practice tranquility meditation you can get this undisturbed mind so for that start to see watch and whatever in front of you simply learn to see it that will help you to trans that uh, go deeper and transform you from this disturbed situation or the environment and that understanding will help you to transform you this level to your higher version once you reach to higher version and you are safe why because that higher version is naturally immunity to the all these difficulties that immunity you have you already have it so then yourself claim it activate it get it awake it you are the only one can do that so how just simply being yourself and simply watching and start to do it and you will see and the, that is the, the the beauty of the the buddha's teaching so there are many many enlightened masters the attain to enlightenment just seeing you have that capability at least just to find your own inner version it will help you so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana सब्बीतो वज्जंतु सब्बरोगो विनासतु माते भवतंतरायो सुकी दीगायुको भव इत्तावता च मीहि संपदं पुण्य संपदं संबे देवानुमोदन्तु सब्ब संपत्ति सिद्धिया संबे भूतानुमोदन्तु सब्ब संपत्ति सिद्धिया संबे सत्तानुमोदन्तु सब्ब संपत्ति सिद्धिया मे पुण्य कमंगासवक्या वहंगो तो सब्ब दुखा मुंच